denied in bold letters. The State Department of Social Services rejected Sacramento County's application for a temporary license to house foster youth at the unlicensed Warney Thornton Building or Wet Center. The state says it's a former youth detention facility with a jail-like setting. As I said originally that it was you know, this is not an appropriate setting for them in a letter uh, from September. California's foster care ombudsperson Larry Fluharty first received complaints last May of foster youth living in an office building, then in August of being housed in the wet center. I'm really glad to see the state taking a strong stand on uh, the children being at the wet center, and I'm, I'm hoping that it, it's, it leads to, to good things. The state says all youth at the facility need to be moved by June 16th and no new youth can be placed there. Lawyer Bobby Thompson is suing the county over the living conditions. It's a pure stall tactic. They knew that this old jail um, couldn't be brought up to any sort of livable standard for, for foster youth. My fear is uh, I don't want them to end up in a worse situation than they're in right now. Sacramento County Assemblyman Josh Hoover is moving for new foster care legislation. We've made it very difficult for foster families uh, to open homes. We've made it very, very difficult uh, to provide options for uh, places for these foster youth to live. In an email, the county told KCRA 3 Investigates, we began the application process with the understanding we could transfer the application to a new location that is better suited for our youth. We are continuing negotiations with providers and working with CDSS to license a welcome and assessment center in a home-like setting in the community. Michelle Bandor, KCRA 3 News. In addition to denying the application, the state is coming down hard on the county, saying if it does not comply with those demands, the state could take legal action, both civil and criminal. The state says it will fine the county $200 per day per child if those children remain at the unlicensed facility.